Hey YouTube, it's uh, been a while since I put a video up and I got my camera pointed at this strange angle because I'm on my fire tablet and if I go down too far in this corner, it's really black. Huh, I'm not doing it now. Anyway, I thought I'd make a video because um, I just came back from North Dakota and it's getting dark. There we go. And uh, I got a little bit more of my setup going, so I thought I'd give like a little tour of my setup and uh, show you how I'm doing over here in Humboldt County, California. So this, believe it or not, oh, it's gonna go black. I gotta stand here like this and point it, point it straight up, just so you guys can see. Okay, so there's my uh, my entertainment system right there. I got this uh, studio hybrid computer connected right now and it's running new Fedora 22 which you know I really like what they've done with the <laughs> nice thing. the GNOME platform the GNOME shell I really like uh, what uh, Linux uh, who is it uh, I think it's the canonical team is running GNOME they got the GNOME web page anyway so I really like what they're doing with the GNOME shell and uh, the user interface is really nice. I got it set up to GNOME Classic because I really don't like the uh, the regular interface. Am I too geeky for you guys? Anyway, I'm, I'm such a huge Linux nerd. I got this little studio hybrid set up over here. And uh, it's running pretty nice. It's really old. I love it to death. Um, I would hate to see it die, but I'll probably run it into the dirt. And then I got my Xbox over here connected with my Kinect. And then you can see my keyboard and mouse. And if you're looking over here in the corner, right where my thumb is, boom. Got these custom made Finn and Jake crochet stuffed animals. So there's Jake. And then over here by my remote is Finn. <laughs> so I got that. And then I got my uh, flippable, transformable foam futon couch bed over there. So. I have actually been busy. I have been making uh, recipes, but I really didn't, you know, have the time. I was getting ready for a wedding. Um, my sister got married. So I didn't release any videos, and I'm going to do this again on my, my fire. You know, I was hoping I could get my, my better setup over here. I got my snowball and my uh, bloggy 3D camera that I'll use for my... Uh, recording of my videos but uh right right now you got to see me i can't look right in the camera because I, the the view screen's over here so i'm constantly looking a little bit to my right <laughs> this this whole video i got a recipe for you though i got a really good recipe i just made it i'm freaking dark you can't see me i just made it and uh let's see i made it at um, 90-10, I think. I think it was 90-10. Yeah, it's got to be 90-10 of uh, flavor because this was only a milliliter. And um, I've been trying to imitate this Butterhorn. I think it's a Butterhorn Danish that they have in the laundromat vending machine. It's one of those uh, um, too, almost too gross to eat foods because it's full of preservatives, but it tastes so damn good, right? So I got my Butterhorn Danish recipe that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to be vaping on it today. I got another bottle steeping over here, actually, with some other flavors. I got uh, strawberry shortcake in there. I think this one, this one's strawberry shortcake. This one's chocolate, no, strawberry cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake. And then this is the other Butterhorn Danish flavor that I got. So I've been busy. I just haven't been releasing videos. I was kind of hoping I would get a better setup. Um, I really don't want to be running uh, video rendering software on my little, my tiny little computer because it is really on its last legs. It's got two USBs that are not working. The power button light is just flickering. So one of these days it's not going to start up and then uh, my heart's going to break and it'll just be a piece of uh, art deco <laughs> until then. Um, so yeah, let me get you this uh, Butterhorn Danish recipe. I got, um, let me get the bottles too, I think. DX Danish. You know what? I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to get the bottles. And I'm going to tell you, show you what the, what the bottles are. I got some light issues. I got one light over here. I already told you that. Anyway, DX Danish. This is uh, DX 
Danish flavor concentrate from a DX cinnamon Danish uh, from the flavor apprentice. Okay, so it was 10 drops of this, and then uh, maple syrup also from the flavor apprentice, and it was five drops of this. Then I had uh, Bavarian cream, oh no, Bavarian cream from Loran. And uh, it was also five drops of this, which made a milliliter. 20 drops is the you know, estimate. I use drops still, is the estimate. So that was a milliliter. And then um, I was, I'm rolling at 6.5%, uh, uh, not 6.5%, uh, maybe it is. Uh, 6.5 milligrams of uh, nicotine per milliliter now. You know, I'm trying to, I'm steadily trying to get lower and lower. Coming from eight, um, I was vaping on six the whole time, you know, for the longest time while I, I didn't have any of my own stuff because that's what they sell here near my, uh, my nicotine level. So I really liked it, man. I really liked it at six, and I'm going to try and get down there. For me, it was just that it was a lot smoother experience. You know, the, the extra nicotine has a little bit of extra um, throw hit. Anyway, that's my video for today, and I'm going to try and have more videos uh, in the future. I don't know when. Um, I'm also going to try and get my better setup. Uh, we'll have some high-definition video then. I don't know how long that's going to take either. So, uh, I guess, you know, stay comfortable with the, the Kindle 4x3 aspect ratio or whatever I can cut it to into my, uh, my video software that is also being rendered on my little Fire tablet. Until next video, I will see you later.